This week, we will be talking about metric conversions. A conversion is when you change the unit that something was measured in. For metric conversions, we will be talking about meters, grams, and liters. A trick to help us remember about metric conversions is to think of them as steps. We will be talking about how conversions are kind of like steps. Take a look at this set of steps. You will notice that meter, gram, and liter are all found in the middle of the steps. These three measurements are often called units. They are found in the middle of the steps because that is the unit that we're measuring in. Remember that meters measure length, grams measure weight, and liter measures capacity. Just a quick reminder that capacity is a measure of how much stuff is in something. It is important to note that the units in blue are the commonly used metric measurements. The units we are going to talk about are meter, gram, and liter. However, we frequently use some other measurements. We often use the measurements kilometer and kilogram, centimeter, and millimeter, milligram, and milliliter. Remember we're using steps to represent metric conversion for a reason. Let's say you started with the units and you wanted to move to a larger unit like kilometer. You would need to go up the steps so you would divide. If you started at units and wanted to move to a smaller unit like a centi or a milli, you would go down the steps and you would multiply. So to move from meter to kilometer, you would need to divide because you're going up the steps. To move from gram to milligram, you're going down the steps, so you would need to multiply. Let's take a look at an example. Let's say, for example, that you wanted to move from liter to milliliter. If you had three liters of liquid and you wanted to find out how many milliliters that is, you would need to multiply. 1,000, because that's what milli means, times 3. 1,000 times 3 is 3,000. You have 3,000 milliliters of liquid. This time, let's say we want to go to a larger unit. Let's say we have 72 meters and we want to know how many kilometers that is. We would need to divide by a thousand. So you would need to do 72 divided by a thousand. 72 divided by a thousand is 0 0.072. We move the decimal three places. It is 72 thousandths of a kilometer. Do you see how I'm using the numbers under the stairs to help me with my math? Looking at the thousand, hundred, ten, one, ten, hundred, thousand, I can tell what I need to multiply or divide by. Let's review a few of the important things you need to remember from this video. First, you can convert metrics by thinking of a set of stairs or steps. You can convert a meter, a gram, or a liter into a larger unit like kilometer or kilogram by dividing. You divide by a thousand if you're going to convert to kilos because kilo means a thousand. You can convert a meter to a centimeter by multiplying by a hundred. You do this because centi means one hundredth. You can convert a meter, a gram, or a liter to a millimeter, a milligram, or a milliliter by multiplying by a thousand. This is because milli means thousandth. What I'd like for you to do now is please pause this video and copy the metric conversion steps into your interactive notebook. This tool needs to go on your side as we will be using it to do some of our own metric conversions. You may do this now.